Karen, this season started with the shocking news that Ray was facing a huge tax bill while you maintain that you were debt free and loaded. But some of your friends doubted that the separate finances in your marriage were really all that separate. Let's watch. Oh my God, did you see what's going on with Karen? Now we're clear. This right. is why she moved to Gray Falls. Karen knows Gray owes this money. Karen, stop lying. It would be much easier to just live in your truth mm -hmm. than to walk around trying to remember your lies. Whoa, 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 whoa. You went and talked to the ladies? Who did you talk to? I feel betrayed. Karen is debt free and loaded. Back. Well, excuse me, Miss Huger. Dang, this is nice. If my husband owed $4 million in taxes, I'm not buying a new car now. Are you being indicted at all? <laughs> And Did Michael get indicted for his dingling swinging across Instagram? No. Kira needs to stop worrying about my man's dick. You better tell Ray not to drop the soap. I'm going to allow you to read everything that's on the back of my shirt. Giselle, you call Ray out of his name. Get the f up off my husband and apologize to him. The lawyers finally solved that, uh, you know, financial situation that we had going on. Pay your bill and we good. Yeah. High five. <laughs> So there's a debt that he needs to repay. That's right. What is the debt? Actually, Ray will be out here to answer any questions you have for him on that level. But we are happy to say that it's in our rearview mirror. Um, well, you haven't made it through. There, he has you to... have to finish paying. You're right. right. You're right. You, you are very right, Andy. Okay. And that is what we are doing. Karen, if your husband casually drops in conversation that there's potential trouble with the IRS. Wouldn't you think to follow up a few months later, hey, you mentioned the company was having big problems. How's it going? Actually, you know what? I didn't, though. I didn't, because I've always had a very, I'm very confident. Blind trust? I do trust Ray. I do love Ray. Right. I was spoiled, mm -hmm. and I could have done better, so. Got it. All right. Lindsay from Hartford, Connecticut said, Ashley, I love your messy ways, but you were dead wrong for the comment you made about Ray dropping the soap. Any oh. regrets after seeing how harsh your comments were? So Karen was valid in talking about some rumor about my husband's dingling? Like, what? Everybody saw that, Ashley. I do, let me but say this. But that wasn't true, Karen. I'm not convinced that that wasn't Michael's dingling swinging across Girl, Instagram. I'm I just saying. I know what Michael looks like naked. Do you know what Michael looks well, like naked? Well, let me tell you what I, I know do know. what the Michael looks why, like naked. Okay, this picture y'all just flashed up, that's not what I saw. I'm scarred for life, okay? That is not what was up and, initially. And I know what my husband's penis looks like, I don't want to know what your husband's penis looks so like, I'm but now you, I do. Karen, it was not if blurred. that was my husband, I would admit it. Okay? I have been okay. forthcoming with everything on this show. I have opened every single True. chapter of my life. I know what I saw. Do you know what Michael's dick looks like? I don't want to know. I mean, this is what we've but been pinching asses for penis, three years. That body, I that's not know. Michael's body. I just saw a different okay. picture. So you decide to have a press conference. Let's just rewind a little bit because I have to give Robin credit for that day. She spent three hours on the phone with me. And let's be real, I didn't call Robin first. God has his hand in all things. So Giselle she didn't- call me first. I called her first. I didn't answer. And she didn't answer. She was vacationing. It's interesting that, that of everybody, you reached out to Giselle first. Yeah. Why? We have history. Yeah. She would have been there for yeah. me. Okay, so now, it, during your conversation, mm -hmm. what is it that you didn't believe from Karen. So mm -hmm. what happened when I hung up the phone and Juan, he kind of heard what was going on and I said, she said she didn't know. And Juan said, that's a lie. He. Juan, the he, person I like better than yes, you? Yes, yes. Because at the end of the, <laughs> maybe because our relationship, you know, I know everything. He knows, you know, we, we communicate and we know okay. everything that's going on. So when he kind of put that out there, it had me thinking, am I being manipulated? Does she really know? Is she saying she doesn't know because she's trying to cover up for other things? And my mind just was racing. And so when I told you that I don't believe you, I was being sincere. I wanted to be honest with you, but I wanted you to know I did have my doubts. Let me say this about Robin. It was in the Washington Post. Yes, so it was. It was clear that, that that was going to be a topic of conversation. We had all read it. And when we got to the press conference, mm -hmm. You came with anger. Yes, I did. And all we wanted to do was really be there for you. I don't believe you, Giselle, that is the, the truth. printed T-shirt. That's the truth and, and the whole truth. That, 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 there's there's a couple things about the T-shirt. In my mind, that I'm thinking that. You. You and evil. Robin, Robin said, <laughs> don't right. do it. Karen's going to be mad, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, look, I think the press conference is silly, so I'm going to be silly. That wasn't silly, though. That was malicious. Why show up in okay, camouflage? <laughs> yes. Okay, 
G.I. Jane. Look at you, G.I. Jane, yes. I can't Excuse prepare. me, wow. Ready for battle. Second thought about peanuts. Well, you know what? Hold on. Give me some It was well planned, and I had heard you all were talking about me behind my back, basically celebrating the trials that Ray was going through. I was Why pissed. Why would we do that? this? No. 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 It's on the tape. It's that. on the tape. No. And it really Okay, so you thought it was schadenfreude, and you thought that... I wanted to see who was my friend, Andy, at that point, because these girls are not have not been the best friends. Let's be real. Let me I, ask you a question. I, I don't but owe Karen, them. Karen, I owe no, them I know. I'm not saying life. about Let's what you owe them. Let's be very clear. Don't you think that you would save yourself a lot of grief if no, you came not at out all. with some not of this stuff? Yeah. You would the shut end. them up. You know what? But my thing with that is, Andy, at that time, I wasn't thinking about that. Honestly, I was dealing with two sick parents. I said, Mama, you can't go yet because I'm not done. My mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's approximately three years ago. And she said, I'm so I'm proud of you. You don't have to talk about it. I had my husband. I was what about the on... viewers? Well, the viewers, I'm talking to you now. Okay. Okay, hello. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm here. Karen, I have arrived. Karen, sometimes <laughs> with it, becomes, my truth. it becomes difficult. Well, it's to... fine. And to moving really, forward, I, I'm going to work on that. But I hear you. With, with me, it becomes difficult to really continue the friendship when I'm feeling like I don't, I don't understand what's going on, I don't believe what's going on, she's not saying anything, she's being defensive, because no, Is that not I, partly your fault? You've been no, up Robin's uh, ass for three years. If you had no, been my no, friend, no, 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 no. like you've Karen, been or in the Karen, past, we you would have checked on me. Karen, we talked. What are you talking about? about? You know what my thing is? You have not been a Just very good be friend, Giselle. You've not been Karen, there. you do not allow you, me to be. You Giselle, don't allow me to be. You've got to put yourself out there. All you can do is tell the truth. Coming up. You want the strongest one that I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. For you to sit here on this couch and act like the only thing I'm doing is I, I'm lying. Being I'm not lying. Just being defensive. No, I'm surviving, sister. I'm putting on my pants and I'm pulling up. You don't know, okay? So don't assume that just because I walked out of your life for a moment, okay, that it was personal. You should have, as a good friend, asked me what was wrong. You should have come I'm to my sure house. You should have knocked down the door and not dress and drag, you know, unannounced. I'm just saying. Karen, you, you should be the first one to there. say, don't come to my house unless you're invited. So I have Giselle, I came to your house. You didn't don't care. Do that. No, you didn't care. Don't do that. No, I really mean what I'm saying. You didn't care. You just cared about being messy. Karen, you know, that's a lie, and don't do no, that. No, no, no. You because I lie. told you, you I wanted to see you privately without the group. But you said, it. no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Why I don't want to do it. Why didn't you want to sit with her? Because I was busy balancing my personal life and Ray's life. So, Meaning, but hold on. What you're saying is you wanted Giselle to be aware of that and kind of give you a little bit of a break. Right. Everyone on this couch knew my parents were sick. Everybody knew that. They didn't care about that story, Annie. What they cared about was a sensational mess. I don't know what, why anybody could be that malicious, but they knew and they never expressed an interest. And my parents are dead and gone now. I'm sorry about your dad. Me too. Yeah. That was... <laughs> I'm sorry about your baby. I need to break. I need to break. <laughs> I knew this was going to be hard for her. <laughs> She was breaking down earlier when, before we got dressed. And 